Okay, this is my Kerbal video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take all of the fucking random Kerbal videos that I have on my computer at the moment and put them in one video. Um, so this could take a while, but I'm gonna skip through them, like thus. I think this is my first attempted um, moon landing, like the first time I'd actually brought it close to the moon. And um, yeah, I was really winging it at this point. And you can see I'm coming in very, very quickly here, in my primitive moon rocket. This was before you had lander legs as well, so um, what I had is I had the three engines I was going to land on. And as you can see, yeah, I'm coming in very quickly. Um, kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Hang on, let's skip ahead a bit. There we go. Okay, we're really carrying the mail now. Here we go. Um, here we go. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I don't often, uh, in fact I never do these ret ret retrospective videos where I talk about it afterwards, but... Oh! I love how the space explosions like sort of make a Whoopi Goldberg head. Hey, <laughs> I'm on the moon! <laughs> anyway, that's, okay, that's video number one. What else we got? Another one called Moon Crash, oh dear. Um, we're on the dark side of the moon now. Huzzah! Skip ahead. <laughs> oh, I'm talking to David on MSN. <laughs> There's all sorts of random crap in these videos. I'll have to... Again, I'm coming in way too quick. I don't know. Yeah. I can't claim to have been an expert from day one. Um, I'm pretty good at Kerbal now, though. <laughs> As you'll see when we get to the later stuff. Yeah. I know a lot of people don't like to watch Kerbal Space Program and think it's boring. The thing you've got to understand about this channel is that I am an astronomy space travel nerd. Um, which isn't to say that that's what this channel is all about all the time. I mean, don't complain. I barely ever upload these, so um, I will be continuing other games that I've told you what we'd be doing and trying some of your suggestions and all that. Whoa! Ah! And actually, somebody, one of our viewers wants to play um, Left 4 Dead with me, so um, I might make some of that into a video. I don't know. Depending on if it works on this bucket of shit. <laughs> this computer's like three years old now. Are we still landing? Skip ahead. Yeah. Crappy um, Snaps Pro picks this really bad compression, and you can't see what's really happening, but um, still going in? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. this is the first time I sort of touched the moon without dying. But. I kind of bounced and panicked. I always panic when the thing bounces, so... I don't know. Bounced and then panicked and just took off again. See, that could have been my first landing, and uh, it totally wasn't. Again with the, um, the three rockets to serve as lander leg leggings. <laughs> leggings! <laughs> Can you imagine an astronaut wearing leggings? That would be so hot. Um, okay, so he's flying away from the moon. What have I done to my rocket? Oh, okay. That's embarrassing. I ran out of fuel. Yeah. And you know what's going to happen next. Bang. So, yeah. Not much of a, um... Uh, what have we got here? Flying towards the moon? Oh! I love this sort of maneuver here. I love these slow turns in space, it's so cool. I just love ships and rockets and things. I'd rather really be watching them on DVD at the moment than making this video, but... I have this folder on my desktop called Gonna Upload, and if I've recorded something and then not put it up, I put it in there. And it was good for a while, it was a good arrangement. I've got some spycraft in there that me and Tina did. I've got David playing something called Spelunky. I forgot we did that. But it also kind of just became this go-to folder for whenever I did something I was proud of on Kerbal. So, um, weird noises coming from other parts of the house. So, it's really not a very good arrangement. I'm just gonna, uh... What's not a good arrangement? Oh, everything. <laughs> to, uh, where is it? There we go. There we go. What are we doing? This is some, some, some sort of retro burn. Here we go. Slowing the ship down. 
Because I've learned my lesson after enough face plants under the moon's surface. I really like this game, i got to say. Boom, boom. <laughs> if nothing else, I give you people good music. Bum 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 Is this a landing or what? Do I make it? Does it yeah. This is not the first landing, this is some sort of almost landing where I, I panic again. See, my advice to aspiring astronauts, <laughs> don't panic, just let it happen. <laughs> See, that doesn't count as a landing. Oh, this is interesting. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I, I don't make it. I try to get away from the moon. Uh, see, I'm really not. Some people can do these videos where they talk about something they've done afterwards, and it sounds like you know, it sounds professional. And I'm I'm not good at that. I'm gonna do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Oh, I had a feel. Oh. Well, I was really proud of this. This little um space plane design. I thought it was really cute looking. Looks like a little bird. Fast forward a bit. Yeah. It's, it looks like a, it looks like a shuttle, even if it doesn't fly like one. Of course, now anybody playing the new update, you can actually make shuttles. Oh. I've made one that can go into orbit and come back and land on the runway. I mean, you know, how hardcore is that? I am so good at this game. I'm just the professional. Yeah. Some other YouTube channels have got a monopoly on this, and uh, I salute them because they're all very good at it. I can't remember their names, um, what's... Um, there's no point doing a shout out if they don't know who you are, but... What's their fucking... What's the name of that guy? I can't remember, um, maybe I'll link you to but um... Yeah, they, they do really good videos of this. What am I doing now? All right, oh no, I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna be subjected to Space Whoopi Goldberg's hair again. My friend Patrick, Patrick Swayze. When we were on the set of Ghost... Ob dob dob. See, like, it's usually a good idea to name a video what it's going to be. And this is called Ob dob dob dob. Oh. Sit in the middle where you're supposed to. Oh, I hope that works. Rosanna. Rosanna. I think it's really amusing that um somebody the one of the actresses in Star Trek Six is called Rosanna De Soto. I totally reckon they cast her by accident. The director of that film was probably like, man, the song I really want in this film is uh, what's it called, Rosanna by Toto, and the casting director overhears this and thinks like, oh, <laughs> that's the end of the joke. But <laughs> not, uh, yeah, it's not really the kind of song you put in a Star Trek film. I don't even know what happens in this one. I took so many Kerbal videos thinking I was, it was going to be the big one. And then I didn't have the heart to trash them because I'm sentimental. Oh, 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 he's getting pretty close to the surface. This could be the big one. It's not the big one. Uh, 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 panic, see? Again, you must not panic while you are landing on the moon. It's just too... The gravity is too light, you can't fuck it. Look at it, come on, look at this. It's almost as like David's playing. Oh, man. Multiple Whoopi Goldberg formations here. Oh, wow, ah, right. I can't even see what I'm supposed to be... Okay, I'm some sort of lunar highlands. Uh, coming down like a chump. But there's the shadow. Okay, so I was close this time. Bounce. Oh, 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 something snapped off, and I'm like, oh no, what happened? 
By this time, you can't really see it, but I added these little um, side decouplers to the sides of the engines to sort of absorb the impact. So that explosion you saw was probably one of them just going because you know the lovely guys who programmed Kerbal Space Program, program, they like to scare you by making everything explode no matter what it is. So yeah, that's why I panicked then. What am I doing? I could have got out of this without dying. Look at the poor sons of bitches. Oh well. Too far away. Scene of the moon. <laughs> God. Uh, this is some sort of... I don't know what the hell this is. I obviously didn't get to the moon or something. Oh, I'll, yeah. Okay. I was testing to see... I, I remember this now. I was testing to see if this thing could actually survive a soft landing with a parachute because I didn't want to go to the moon and come back and then have this heroic welcome home and then die. So um, I think I was testing to see what would happen. And um, I have this random radio loop from NASA playing in the background. Oh, did, did they leave? <laughs> I rocket this game success. Okay, I think this is the first successful landing. And in fact, it might actually have a soundtrack of me um, talking to David, maybe. Oh, I got a feeling that, uh... I did it! Yes! I landed on the moon! I have a feeling that altitude counter is wrong. <laughs> Scotty wins! <laughs> you can tell I'm overjoyed. The RCS is keeping me stable. I'm listening to George Harrison too. You've landed. It's okay, I'm, I'm alive. Fuck, I'm alive. I did this. I'll never get over. Sorry, you just landed on the roof. Alright. Top cabin is stable at 6.1 pounds per square inch. Alright, what happens next? Uh, I think. I, uh, I put on Cosmos Rocking by Queen and Paul Rogers to piss David off. I won't subject you to that audio, but um, he was not impressed. Okay, so basically I blast off the moon, I get into space, it's very impressive, and but because I don't really know at this point how to make a trajectory to get back to the planet, they're, um, they wind up stranded in space forever, basically. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know what the fuck's going on here. We never got home after this one. It's very tragic. This is so unprofessional. It's just the most efficient way I can think of to like combine all the videos, so bear with me. You've lost three men. We haven't lost them, David. They're just not coming back. What am I, space shuttle? What do you reckon of that? It's space dancing. There's no point in speeding. <laughs> it's terrible. I think I was sort of banking on the moon to, um, like, perturb my orbit so I'd eventually make it home, but, um, it was taking too long, so we gave up. Alright, what's this one? A dud. So this could be any shit, again, I don't know. They're not labelled very accurately. We're going towards the moon. This could be Josh flying for all I know. If it crashes, it probably is. Oh, okay. I had a lot of fuel there to, um... Make a nice little, uh... Why is Rosanna playing again? Alright. We come in nice and slow. How could I possibly fuck this up? <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, that's a good landing. It's, it's, I've had worse. You see those little decouplers are sort of snapping off, but... They're doing their job and kind of slowing me down. Yes, I think they are. That could be just my imagination. You'd have to talk to the designers. Um, Alright, now what? How could I fuck this one up? I took off again. Alright, dude. It's another one where I don't have enough fuel to get home. <laughs> so it was also new and exciting to me then. The idea of landing on the moon in this game. Now it's like a routine trip, because I'm just so fucking amazing. Go. Alright. Bear with me, people. So, um, anyway. Something to talk about. Um, I would really like to do the podcast again. Now, 
from my conversations with David, he um, doesn't do them because he's not working and he doesn't feel that he has enough to talk about in his life. And I think it's just bullshit. You, know, you should probably tell him for me. Because it's like, you can just talk about what you think about other things that are not in your life. I mean, you know, fuck. Plenty of topics. I don't care. I, I would like to start getting people to call us on Skype and just yap with them about bullshit. You know, I don't know. Anything. Just something to do. It doesn't have to be good. It just, you know, just by us doing a podcast... I don't know. We're probably above the bottom. We're not. We're not a really good one, but you know. I'm sure there's worse ones out there. <laughs> Look at my little twirly whirly. Yeah. And by this point, I was getting pretty pissed off at my inability to get home. It's such a cute little ship. The windows are like eyes. Check that shit out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Tumble dry. That's yeah, another stranded video. Get in the orbit. Oh, I'm like, oh, I'm getting close! And then I try a retro burn to get back to the planet and I run out of fuel. Yeah, it's always the way. Ran out of fuel. I love these little astronaut guys. I, um, I hear they're going to add them soon. Like, you can actually make them walk around and shit. Which should be pretty fun. I kind of thought it'd be cool if they were like the Sims, like, um... Like, you don't know, control them, control them, you like, sort of just press on them and say, go do this, and then little dot dot body comes, and you know, they, they go and do it for you. But, what do I know? I'm sure it'll be cool either way. Here I am again on my shuttle, failing to get home. These are dark days for Scotty's space program, I tell you what. Oh, this one's called I Did It, I Win. And I think I've already uploaded this on YouTube. Um, I've made a bigger rocket, rocket, <laughs> a bigger rocket by this point. And I knew to jettison things when I took off so that I weighed less. You know, piddly shit like that. Oh, there we go. Bend over. <laughs> it's not two words you want to hear me say, is it? Bend over. Yeah, I did put this one up before. It was a very good video. Anyway, we'll skip that one. Stranded. Oh, yeah. By this point, I think I was playing with some mods. I don't use custom parts very often. Um, because it just you only have to install a couple of them, and then before you know it, you have things full of parts, and you don't know what to use, and it's all very confusing. I prefer to just use the ones that come with the game. It's more fun that way. What am I doing? Is this a landing? There we go. Right. Do I take off again? What happens to this one? It's called Stranded, so... I don't know, what do you reckon happens? Are we taking bets? That's pretty good. It's like those morons that think the moon landings weren't real. Zoom in! Zoom into the photo! And you give them a photo and then what do they say? They say the photo's fake. Oh wow, look at that. Must be the easiest gig in the world to be a conspiracy theorist. You never actually have to prove anything. Um, alright. Stranded? Is this, is this my idea of stranded? I'm getting home, look at that! Oh, hang on. Alright, yeah, I'm in this one. I wound up stranded in orbit, I'm like, no, I'm never gonna get home. So what I did was I started to try and... This is embarrassing. Mountain rescue missions. And I got pretty close a couple of times with, this, with these guys in particular. But it was such an irregular orbit that it was really hard to um, catch up to them. Oh, look at that though. I mean, I got within 500 meters this time. Look at that. That's pretty fucking good. It's not really. But, you know, I was trying. It's very hard to do precision piloting in this when the camera view is so, so you can see me here, I'm like scrolling the camera around trying to find what I'm doing and um, failing miserably. I reckon stuff like this might be easier once they have a cockpit view. Maybe. Oh, oh I'm catching up to again. <laughs> the other ship's called Tom Jones. What's he doing out here? How close do I get? Oh. oh. Within a kilometer again. But yeah. Long story short, I never did rescue those guys. I was getting pretty good at trying. 
matching up to the orbit, as you can see here. But, um, I accidentally deleted them <laughs> by loading up the mission to see where they were. What is going on? Yeah. Well, I kind of ruined it by telling you the ending, but yeah, we don't. We never rescue those three. They're basically gone forever. Never to be seen again. Oh, fuck me. What happened? This is some sort of crash landing. The three astronauts are surprisingly uh, chipper about it all. <laughs> I would just take video of any crap, apparently. Oh yeah, this was uh, me practicing landing close to other landings. Which, I don't know. I don't know if that sounds easy to a, um, to a neophyte or somebody who's never played the... Oh wow, look at that. Kerbal never moves. Um, <laughs> to somebody who doesn't play the game, but, you know, it, it takes some practice. Now I can just about do it in my sleep. In fact, I think I do, judging by some of these videos. What have we got here? Some sort of... Like I'm trying to back into that thing again, just for a laugh. I think I bump it. Oh! I called it again! Like, I mean, it was good practice, but... I don't think I needed to take multiple videos of it. <laughs> oh shit! I think I hit another, um... Oh wait, no, hang on. No, it's just shit, shit landing. Ah! Oh, Rastafarian! Oh my god. And yet my guys are still alive. I mean, any landing you can walk away from. Oh, okay, here we go. It's a proud moment in Scotty's space program. It was my first successful ron rendezvous. Or rondez vows, as the French would say. Thank you, Neil. Um, so yeah, basically with a rendezvous, what you want is the two orbits to line up along the horizontal plane. And what you do is, the guy that you're trying to catch up to, is you have a smaller orbit, so you're going a little faster and you're inside his orbit. And then just, when you're sort of near each other, you speed up a bit or whatever, and just go out towards him. And once you're kind of, like here, you can see him with your eyes. <laughs> with your eyes, look. Once he's sort of within visual range, you start to just do what, do what I'm doing here. And uh, rock it rocket towards him slowly and gently. You have to be very careful, otherwise you just wind up passing him like in the other video. I think what I'm doing here is switching from rocket to rocket and trying to make mutual kind of moves. Uh, I've got to say that's a very cumbersome process because it takes a while to switch. Um, but eventually, eventually I get there I think. <laughs> Google opened up. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, within half a kilometer. Scotty's getting close! Oh, he's getting away again. Oh. Rescue 911. <laughs> That's the best name for a shuttle. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Really getting close here. Oh, this is exciting. I remember the excitement of being a, uh, what you call it, a pioneer in this game. I wasn't really. Um. But once you get to a certain distance, the little thing that tells you how far away goes away. Leaving you to sort of guess at what's happening. I think if you, yeah, yeah, if you hover the mouse over it, it comes back. Um, so yeah. I was really happy. It's my first rendezvous. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> my first serious accident in space. Smash into the guy. Um, so yeah, yeah, and I'm drifting next to the guy. Sort of a parking orbit. What I didn't really realise at the time was that in all of that manoeuvring I'd actually decayed both of their orbits so that they would sink into the atmosphere. Um, so, it's, it's, I'm, <laughs> so I'm now actually in the atmosphere, I think. Just, you know, not really paying attention to what I'm doing. I think at some point I realised what's going on. Uh, switch rockets. Okay. I know what happened here, I don't really know, is that I, I, I se separated them both from their rockets and got the parachute ready and all that shit so that we would both come in and land pretty close together. I thought that would be really ace. And, um, but it doesn't work out that way. Well, there's Jon Snow. <laughs> I can't remember why. 
I'm gonna start to be funny. Um, and um, it's kind of sad, really, because one of the parachutes works and the other doesn't. I must have forgotten to press the button on the other ship. I'll have to speed up to that part. Come on, hurry up. Let's think about space. Oh, everything takes so bloody long. Okay, there we go. Whoop. He's just off. And I'm like, oh no, I have to switch over and turn his parachute on. But by the time I get my shit together, it's all very cumbersome. I keep on accidentally pressing the wrong button. And I'm like, he disappears from the radar. So for some reason, he's dead and I'm not. And it's very tragic. Splash down. Another fucking rendezvous. We'll skim through this one as well. This is actually, um... Looks like some sort of jive-ass fucking modification of the rocket that I used to go to the moon. <laughs> jive-ass motherfucker! <laughs> yeah. It's really hard to, like, get them just to sit still. It's, I mean, virtually impossible. There's always some tiny movement. Anyone who's got, like, fantastic notions of these two ships just going... Fucking forget about it. What they really got to do is put weapons on these ships so that people can understand how ridiculous things like Star Wars are. <laughs> it's like, in a game like X-Wing, you're like, oh, I'll just hop in the X-Wing and fly off in any direction and do what I want. But if you were actually dealing with any, any sort of physics and you know, orbital mechanics and shit, man, it would be a fucking nightmare just catching up to someone and then, like, trying to aim a gun at them. <laughs> it would fucking rock. I actually reckon that'd be good. Of course, only complete losers would play that like me. Um, Oh, fuck. Yep, they're just chilling in orbit. Man, I can't believe I took so much video. Only a dildo would film this much without any real intention of uploading it. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, okay, so the other command pod is uh, flying free and I'm trying to catch up to it before I jettison my rocket. What I like about Kerbal Space Gro Pro Gro 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 Kerbal Space Grogan is <laughs> a turd flies past. No, Kerbal Space Program is at the moment it's like a really good simulation of what we've done already. You know, going to the moon, making shuttles, all that crap. And I can't wait until it sort of branches out into shit that hasn't happened yet, like you know, going to Mars and all that jazz. Because um, because I wish we were doing that for real. You know, there's really no reason not to. And uh, if anyone ever says to you. Why do we spend money on space? We could use the money down here. Slap them, because nothing down here is really that important. You know, Africa can help itself. <laughs> it's just that space is so not expensive compared to other crap that we waste money on, you know, like fucking armies and shit. Oh, that's pretty good. I think I land within a kilometer of the other pod, so... For, uh, for my first attempt at a... Uh, or well, first successful attempt at a synchronized landing. That's not so bad. I had notions of calling this video Kerbal Masterclass, and I think I'm, I still might, but it's important for me to stress that I'm not being serious. I don't think I'm that good at the game. Because judging by these videos, I'm a bit of a fucking clown. I, I appear to be just winging it. That's my idea of a rendezvous. <laughs> I reckon when two tubes hit each other in the game, they should go... Yeah, it's not really docking. I think at this point I started to want to learn how to dock shit together. But there's no parts for that yet, so I, um... What the fuck am I looking at there? Oh, some sort of rocket I left running. It's good if you can, like, you know, get a rocket with a little bit, with a little bit of throttle and then jettison it and just watch it go crazy in space. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, guys. Because there's nothing controlling it. It just sort of goes... Some MSN pops up again. Um, oh yeah, here's, here's me experimenting with docking. What I'm trying to do is getting the landing legs to like sort of lock together, which doesn't really work because in the middle you've got this engine nozzle poking out, it kind of fucks you up. Um, and another thing is if you knock another ship, it's not like there's aliens on that ship controlling it to keep it still. If you knock it, it just goes and tumbles. So as soon as you fuck up, that's it. You just watch him tumble away and there's nothing you can do to stop him. Other than to hop over to that ship and control it. 
it's, it's all very daft. I mean, you know, at the same time as really loving space exploration, man, it must be a hassle. Look at that. Look at that. One little fuck up and he's gone. And he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. What am I hearing here? David Gilmore. I think it's time for some David Gilmore. I think at this point I lose patience with the whole process and try and kill the other guy with my ship. Here we go. Look out! Ah! Space explosion! Again with the Whoopi Goldberg. Man. <laughs> that woman has got some serious hair. Pain and anger. That's a really good name for a space video, isn't it? The fuck? I've broken some rocket during blast off and there's fuel tanks floating everywhere. Wow, how did I not die? I remember this one. I was, that, that thing there is just a little fuel tank with landing legs on it. It's for capturing another spaceship. And I think because I'd put that there, the thing was impossible to take off with because of the off balance. And so the, the big stage of the rocket, the one that gets you into orbit, kind of just went and broke off into a million pieces. How embarrassing. Man, the other people that play Kerbal are just going to see this video and go, You loser. How do you keep on getting it so wrong? What a rank amateur. Of course, you guys might have your skills at Kerbal Space Program, but I've got this. Who's the real winner here? I ask you. Fuck. He keeps falling off the computer. Alright, skip ahead. What's going on? I, um, another rendezvous. See, again, the rendezvous seemed really hard the first few times I did it, but now here I am just doing it for a laugh. I think I, um, yeah, this is uh, for docking practice. David Gilmore. Yeah. What you can see I've done there is put fuel tanks on all sides so that there's not a balance problem. Genius! I know, I know. You know, I should be working for real NASA, not this piddly video game shit. Not that real NASA is up to much at the moment. What are they even doing? Are we going back to the moon or what? God, get onto it, guys. Let's just fucking go. Send me, I'll go. I reckon I would be a brilliant astronaut. If you could put a motor on a fucking washing machine, I could land it. Okay, this, <laughs> I don't really think I remember what happened to I've knocked off the, the main sort of stage there. Because I, th I think I don't need it anymore. I'm pretty sure I don't, yeah. And, um... Actually, <laughs> what I'm supposed to do here is knock off these three fuel tanks so that they're out of the way. But instead, because of bad staging, I knock off the whole assembly. So, the whole reason I performed this fucking... mission is now floating away from my ship. And if I unmuted this, I'd probably hear me swearing or saying, you fucking moron or something. So I'm very upset here. I just start to fly into things in a rage. But then I think I remember <laughs> after leaving it off. <laughs> Look at that. <coughs> bye bye, I'm leaving. No. I think after uh, remembering that there's an autosave, I managed to load it. And I guess, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Okay. So there we are again, trying to line up with the. <laughs> with the docking ship. I had these two designs, there was the one with the round end and then the one with the uh, docking part. Which I thought was really clever, but it turns out other people were doing this already, so... Okay, you open it, and then you close it. David Gilmore. What I didn't really think, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking at this point, I was supposed to um, attach it on the other end, where it's nice and round and not pointy. So yeah, a bit daft, a bit stupid. In this game, if you knock around the front too much, you actually knock the parachute off, so um, you can't really go home safely. I think in a second I remember my the folly of my ways and try and get around. No, no! <laughs> I noticed that that thing's spinning, so I try and stop that instead. Oh, it's a really good game to play if you have lots of spare time. Um, which I've had lately. Um, I applied for a university course earlier on, but... um. You know, 
I'm in a bit of a pickle because I don't really have anything that I would consider folio worthy when it comes to video making. I used to love making movies, but to be quite honest, I made a lot of those things when I was like 20 in my backyard, and I just can't see that being folio material. Like I taught myself how to use Final Cut Pro, and I know a lot about editing and effects and shit, but I just haven't made much of it because I've I spent all my time on music instead. So, I'm kind of fucked. Can't really... I don't have any demonstrable <laughs> talent. <laughs> oh man. I have a talent for docking spacecraft. Look at that. Let's take some real piloting. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! Almost captured. See the claws come down like that. I'm trying to find some music to listen to. Alright, keep going. So yeah, it was a very tedious process of hopping from the target ship to the docking ship and just trying to get them to sit still. Sit still long enough to, um... To be dockable, I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. Go on in. Go on in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, this was a bit of a fuck up because the legs were closed, so there's no room for it to really fly in unless I'm absolutely on the money, which I never am. So, um, I think at that point I hop over to the docker ship, docker ship, and then quickly try and capture. Go, 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 go. Yes. Ah. Oh, oh. But it tumbles immediately, and yeah. No matter how close you get those legs around the um, fuel tank, it's never really precise. The, the two are always sort of rotating differently, so... It stays for a while, as you can see here, it's pretty cool. It's like two ships having sex. But um, it always drifts off and eventually, yeah, eventually you lose them. Come back! Come back, ship! This one's called docked. That sounds, um, optimistic. It's not even docked yet! <laughs> I think I was rather stubbornly making a lot of videos about this at the time because it kept crashing and not saving what I was doing. I was really pissed off. I made like a really good docking video and snaps would just quit on me and look at that. Bang! See, you can tell I've practiced it by this point because it was a lot quicker. That's a pretty good capture really. If I do say so my fucking self. What happened here? Oh! Bang! Ah! <laughs> the guys in the other ship, what was it? That was a laser blast, something hit us. Okay, here we go. I figure it would be a lot easier just to capture the um, command pod by itself without the uh, junk behind it. So here we go. Oh, a lot of that very finicky maneuvering. It's kind of... It took me a while to get used to the idea of um, controls for doing that. As well as the turns and all that shit. Now I'm getting kind of alright at it, if I do say so myself. I mean, just, you know, the video speaks for itself, really, I mean, you know. Okay, getting in there. I really think, um, oh, fucking hell. The guys that make this game should get talking loops like what you're hearing in the background here. Um, and just have them playing during the mission. Um, am I going to capture this fuck or what? Okay, there, got him. There we go. Oh. <laughs> See, <I'm laughs> See, the problem I had here was... um. Oh, no. I'm trying to do a retro burn so we slow down and go into the atmosphere together. But the... Um, that thing there is making me go off balance, so as soon as I put the engine on, it's like... I think I eventually regained control of it. Probably. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Oh. No. I'm not the worst pilot, but I really do lack precision. There's a lot of really risky... Shit going on. You wouldn't want me piloting if your life depended on it. 
Right, so I capture these sons of bitches again. Dang. Boom. And instead of firing up the main engine, which makes me spin off course, I just use these guys. To get some sort of retro shit happening. Have I got enough fuel? Yeah, I do. There needs to be a gauge there so I can punch it with my gloved finger. Spaceman Sterling, check the RCS fuel. See it like that. I spent five seconds of my very limited life demonstrating what I meant there, but I think it was worth it. Checking to see if I'm actually going into the atmosphere yet. I think we can skip ahead. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm firing at the main engine again. <laughs> in short bursts, it's alright. Alright. And after that, I'm like, well, fuck it. We're going in. Huzzah. <laughs> this one's called Mission Accomplished, so I guess I did. Alright. 70, 70 kilometers, so we're going in the atmosphere now. And you can see the command pod there sort of tumbling around in the cage. And, um. I guess uh, what I'd probably done is hopped in the other ship and turned on their parachutes so that when the time comes they'll just go Phew! and then uh, I guess I followed them with my parachute, I don't know. Um, there's very faint Jimi Hendrix playing, you probably can't hear it. Jimmy Hendrix should never be playing faintly in the background. Um, what altitude does the uh, parachute go off again? Jimmy Hendrix! God, I love that shit so much. So he's drifting out, so the atmosphere is slowing him down now, so he's out of my cage. I can't catch him again. Then I quickly noticed that... Hang on. Blow by blow commentary. As soon as I see his parachute flare out, I think I. Oh wait, does mine do it first? Oh, mine goes first actually, and then his. Yeah. All right. Here I was thinking I had fast reflexes. Okay. Uh, I guess we we both come in pretty close, as I recall. Yeah. Well, fucking look at that. We're really quite close. 30 years? That's impressive. Oh, fucking look at that compression. Thanks, Snaps. And we both land in this little forest together. Oh, fuck, what happened there? Oh, and then I think I tried to roll over so we'd be closer. Kind of cheating. I think I get there eventually. And bang! There we go. Two peas in a pod. I think I've told people about this one once. I tried to make a rocket boat using some custom parts. Um, suffice it to say, it doesn't go very well. The boat lands in the water. I try and roll it the right way up. I was kind of hoping these landing legs would act like skis, you know, I'd be like... But, instead, it just speeds up and the... <laughs> the cockpit snaps off, kills my guys, and the thing takes off by itself. So, to that effect, it does skip along the water like I wanted it to, it just killed my men while doing it. Oh, you can't have everything, is that right? Oh, yeah, this is good! I, uh, as much as I don't like custom parts, this looked like, this looked like fun, so I downloaded it. It was, uh, astronauts. And, uh, I think they are actually properly adding EVA to the game soon. That's what you call it. Extra vehicular activity. So you'll be able to control them. As it is, these guys are pretty hopeless. You can't control them. They just sort of tumble. And they have this scared look on their faces too. I'm trying to get it on the camera to... Uh, look at them tumble! I love the little space suits! Whoa! I think I was trying to catch, catch up. Catch up to them. 
after they got away. Look at that. That's pretty. Okay, for colors, the waters are all a sort of a royal <laughs> color. Look at him go! Boop! 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 How do they get back in on them? Though? It's something they're going to have to work on. Put a hatch in. The land areas are generally a brownish. You get away from the dirt! Nudge! Oh! So, yep, that's um. <laughs> my faux EVA video. Can't wait to do a proper one. The shadows look like crap, I don't know why. Um, whoa! That was me zipping into one of them. Really quickly. Whoa! Lucky that didn't kill my fucking shuttle. Sorry, there's John Lennon, you probably can't hear it. When you're crippled inside. Shit. Yoko Ono's gonna sue me for copyright. Um. Yeah, little. I think what I just really wanted was some good screenshots. Like at the time, I thought I'd probably just put this up as a video by itself, so I wanted a good thumbnail. And as you know, your regular YouTube user like myself can't pick a thumbnail, which I think is really stupid. I think it's outdated. I know it used to be like, oh, well, let partners do it, because, you know, it's a luxury, but... Oh, fuck. The fact is, no one's going to watch a video if the thumbnail is me and David. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna abuse the ability to put up a thing that says whatever the video is about, you know. Well, maybe I would sometimes, but the thing is, everyone on YouTube who can pick thumbnails has at some point abused that fucking privilege. I mean, look, you, they always put hot chicks and things like you know, thinking it's gonna fool people. And of course, it never does. You think if I click on this video, I'm gonna see some some loser in his bedroom <laughs> talking about a lot of crap. <laughs> Oh, the irony. What is this? Another rendezvous? Come on, Scott, you can do better than this. I think I was rendezvousing these guys just to prove that I could. Because it's an older ship design of mine. Fucking hell. I was really just recording everything I possibly could. Oh, that's one of those free rockets I was telling you about taking off without any human control. Um, wow, look at him go. Oh, tumble, bang! Oh, this is one of my proudest moments. This fucking thing was supposed to be a moon base, right? Because you can't build bases yet. And I got the idea from somebody who made a space station that was a ring, and it crashed or ran too slow when I had a ring, so I sort of trimmed it down a bit and made it into a star, or a snowflake or whatever. And I thought, that would be so cool if I could land that on the moon, and, you know, it would have been cool, but... The fucking thing, it looks smooth because I'm speeding it up, but it was impossible to pilot. Like, everything was, get it off the ground was fucked, you know, getting off the landing pad, uh, launch pad. The, alt the altimeter stopped working because, I guess, lag fucks that up. I should probably report that if it's a bug. Um, just everything sucked about trying to drive this thing. But, Mr. Master Pilot, fighting through horrible computer performance and all that shit, look at this, it's getting pretty low. With no altimeter, I've got to fucking, you know, use my noggin here, and the shadow. <laughs> hey, look, look at the lag, look at that shit. No, it really was hard, and I... I reckon I actually got pretty close to landing it. I mean, you be the judge. I'm doing that nervous thing again, where I'm like, oh no, blast off. But I shouldn't have worried, because... The, land, the, the terrain is too wobbly for me to really land this thing. You need flat ground. Yeah, I think I think this is it. This is really good. <laughs> oh wait, no! <laughs> Come on, get in. Get on, boy. Oh, whoa! Look out! And we're coming in. Yeah, uh, we'll slow motion this for you. Look at that frame rate. And I'm like thinking it's going to work, and really it was very close to working. But then, snap! Oh, oh, my ship! <laughs> it just it collapses under the. Yep. Under the strain of it all. <laughs> yep. Complete fucking wreck. 
I mean, I kind of got the thing, look at that. I mean, it's a soft landing for the moon base. So yeah, that would have been really cool if I could have pulled it off. Uh, I've showed you this before, this is my Minmus landing. They added a second, much smaller moon. Which I thought was a good idea. I made it there on my first try. And um, I think what I did was I, I reasoned that since it's about twice the distance from the planet that the normal moon is, I just sort of... Um, it's not twice, it's some other number. But I, you know, I guessed where it would be. And I fuck, it worked! I fuck, fucking got it. And this is the part where it lands in the whipped cream, so to speak. Yeah, so I was a bit sad about this. And I'm like, well, I can still take off again, can't I? What I hadn't noticed is that the engine had actually snapped off in the smoosh. But hey, you know, I made it. I fucking, first try. It's not bad. Automated robot, what could this be about? Oh yeah. <laughs> another one of these rockets I've let go by itself. It's sort of like this vacuum cleaner, just sort of cleaning the moon. Oh, it's got stuck. Oh, but it's moving again. Yeah, it's hypnotic just watching it sort of cruise around the moon by itself. I think I watched it for uh, a couple of minutes. And now you will too. No, I'm, not under the, I'm not under the illusion that anybody's still watching this, but um, I just love Kerbal. I spend way too much time playing it. Especially now that they've... Um, out of the runway and the planes and all that. I'm really enjoying that, although I've got to get a fucking joystick. Do you know how hard it is to land using a keyboard on this thing? Whoa, space dog! Come back, you space bitch! Um. Look at this! That's awesome! I'm sorry. Okay. Shit landing, what could this be? Oh, yep. This is me trying to land my nice jet. And. I thought it would work, I really did. But uh, obviously coming in too fast and bang. I killed three men. Arch location? Oh yeah, I found an arch. I was I was proud of that for some reason. I think I was just recording the location so I could come back to it later. And I think I did, I think I landed right underneath it. Or next to it. Whatever. So anyone who doesn't know where there's any landmarks on the moon to land next to, there's an arch around that crater thing. <laughs> right there. Yeah. First shuttle landing. Oh yeah, there's another proud moment. Basically, I, I um got this uh, reusable space shuttle design here. I really wanted it to make to make it look like a real space shuttle, but. Whenever I had just the engines on the under, on the belly, it would do this thing where it'd be like, boof, on the launch pad. Depressing, but um, so it's got four engines. And I'm like, ooh, look at that. And then I realized that's where the fucking space center is. Oh my God, we're gonna go straight past, huzzah. So this part's not really very authentic. All right, fire up the engine and uh, come in across the ocean. You couldn't do that in a real shuttle, so I'm not really very happy with this design. I, ha I want to make one where you really just glide in. I don't know if that's possible. But anyway, we'll just speed this up. This little landing here. Gears come out. If David were here, that would be his job. He presses G to make uh, to make geese fly out of the cargo hold. Good. Right. Real time now. Scotty's incredible <laughs> using <laughs> trying to use the keyboard. I put the parachutes on too quickly, and I kind of cave into the runway, but I think I survive. <coughs> yeah. I put the parachutes there to slow me after I'm kind of already on the ground, but um, yeah. so that was my, technically my first landing from space. This was the first one that worked as planned, like, you know, without the turnaround. Alright, we're not in the atmosphere yet, I don't know what the fuck the... Uh, Am I over Africa yet? There's like an African continent in this game where the space center is. I'm kind of glad they haven't added re-entry yet. Oh, there we go. Because, um... That's just going to add a whole level of shit that I probably won't be good enough to uh, deal with. Basically, here we go. We're coming in. 
Yeah, still speeding up, so the atmosphere's not that thick. Oh, it's starting to slow down all of a sudden. No, I'm sorry, I will never get sick of this song. You might, but I don't care. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum, dum. There's the moon. Been there, done that. This is much more interesting. Alright. I, uh, I think I turned the engine on again at some point. I'm trying to slow it down with retro rockets so I don't hit the ocean. Okay. If this was real life, I'd be below uh, supersonic speeds now. Can't really see the runway, but it is there. What I really want them to do is add lights to it because I've done a night landing and f I don't know, you don't need it, you can still see the runway, but it would help. Besides, lights look cool. Fuck. Oh, there goes my engines. Alright, coming in towards the runway still. Very nice and slow. Uh, again, this is a powered landing. It's not really like real life, but you know. The point was to have a reusable space plane, and uh, man, I fucking just, you know. There's some expression I'm missing here. Raked it in? Right? I think this is the last video, thank fuck. I had no idea it would take me this long. And I've been skipping through them too. Can you imagine how long this would be if I just let them play? Oh. Lag. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Left, left. I think I had some trim going on at the time, but I don't remember. Alright. Oh, oh, pull up, pull up. Parachute's does on. Sweet? Yeah, you bet it does. <laughs> That's what I wanted to show you. Me safely on the runway. I can't tell if I broke something. It's like kind of... If you land too hard, you kind of get embedded in the concrete. So, um... That's not a good sign. But anyway, that's like, yeah, that's the last few months of me getting good at Kerbal. Um... Jesus. I had no idea that was going to take so long. But yeah, I had to do that. I can't just have unuploaded videos on my computer. It just it upsets me and stops me from wanting to do new stuff. So now that I have that out of the way, I should be able to move on. And do some suggestions. What do we got here? 159. Yeah, there's a few.